Paradox of thrift is an economic concept that highlights the potential danger of saving too much money in an economy. This concept was popularized by the famous economist John Maynard Keynes during the Great Depression. Overview In simple terms, paradox of thrift suggests that an increase in saving rates by individuals may lead to a decrease in overall spending and consumption, which can ultimately result in lower economic growth and increased unemployment. This can happen because when people save more, they tend to spend less, leading to reduced demand for goods and services. As a result, businesses may face declining sales, which may force them to cut back on production and lay off workers. This leads to lower overall income levels, which further reduces consumption and perpetuates the cycle. Example Suppose that in a country, due to a decline in economic growth, people start saving more money. This leads to a reduction in overall consumption and demand for goods and services. As a result, businesses start to suffer and may be forced to cut back on production and lay off workers. This can lead to increased unemployment and lower overall income levels, which can further reduce consumption and perpetuate the cycle. Implications the paradox of thrift highlights the importance of a balance between saving and spending in an economy. While saving is essential for future investments and financial stability, excessive saving may lead to reduced demand and economic slowdown. To avoid this situation, policymakers often use fiscal and monetary policies to stimulate economic growth and consumption. By increasing government spending or lowering interest rates, policymakers can increase the level of aggregate demand in the economy and stimulate economic growth. In conclusion, the paradox of thrift is an important concept in macroeconomics that highlights the potential dangers of excessive saving in an economy. While saving is essential for future investments and financial stability, excessive saving may lead to reduced demand and economic slowdown. Policymakers often use fiscal and monetary policies to stimulate economic growth and consumption and to avoid this situation.